Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of New on Steam. Today we're playing a little bit more Remnant 2. So last episode we were on the murder train. So this time, let's go ahead and check out some new routes. So we're going to go ahead and cross this bridge right here. Nope. Uh, that was just the speaker we talked to last time. So let's go ahead and take out this enemy right here. So we are hitting a little bit harder since our guns got upgraded. And we got some area that we've already explored over here. So we've been here already. So we're going to go ahead and cross this open plain and see what's out here. Oh cool, we got another level on our handler. And we're completely surrounded right now. These mechs are just kind of hiding in the uh, ground for us. So what's uh, leveling up the handler do for us now? Let's go ahead and grab this uh, scrap. So let's go check out handler. Uh, we got a new trait, so increases movement speed. Okay. So we're even faster now. I uh, wonder what's that way. We're going to go ahead and just hug the wall. And go this route first. So that way leads to completely open abyss. No. Don't give him a chance to ambush us. Okay. And we got some more stuff over here. Okay, let's go ahead and just go into the special mode. Ooh, that thing is nailing us. Although it's pretty, pretty dead now. Completely missing our shots. Aiming is not too terrible in this game. We do miss our shots occasionally, but not as often as like if we're playing an FPS. Okay. So, I think we might have been here before. Yes, we have. So... What I am going to do, I think we've explored everything on this map thus far, is I'm going to head back to this waypoint, the Ascension Spire, and then I'm going to transport us back to the Eon Vault and continue our route there. Okay, so we're at the Eon Vault. We can now go ahead and continue our journey here and see what's out here. So we're like before, we're just going to hug the right wall and see where it kind of takes us. So that seems to be the location we need to go. Or one of the locations. The huge tower. Very gaseous over here, so we gotta be careful. Um, okay. So the enemies are probably gonna get tougher, and it's a little hard to see. So I, I can't tell if we're dealing with ghosts or what's up with this. Okay, so we got a ring up here, too. So let's try to. Uh, Climb up the sledge. Yeah, some sort of ghost. So we got a feedback loop. Okay, there's no enemies nearby. So let's go ahead and check out what this ring does. Feedback loop. There it is. Perfect dodge triggers three meter AoE blast that deals 98 damage. That seems pretty powerful against a boss or something. We'll go ahead and save that. I don't do too many perfect dodges, so. Let's go ahead and take out this enemy right here. This area seems to be bigger than the one before. Watch out for that ghastly enemy. Watch out for the reloads. Looks like we got some more. Oh crap, we got an abomination. You are special. This thing takes quite a few hits. If we didn't have our special, we'd still be fighting it. Let's go ahead and take out this guy. And we got a kind of a fortress around here. Oh, it jumps. I didn't expect that. I thought I expected it to be kind of slower. Let's 
and they run. Okay, so they're a little bit more terrifying than I gave them credit to be. <laughs> yeah, that's the edge. Okay, so this leads somewhere. We'll go ahead and just kind of head here and look around. So this is probably a side dungeon also. I like side dungeons. They take about 20, 30 minutes or 15 to 20 minutes to kind of go through. Here they come. I can't tell what those are. It's a little foggy in here. Some sort of grabber. And there's a dungeon down here too. So we'll definitely take a look at that. Okay, so these are some sort of bugs that get killed in like one hit. Go ahead and grab this loot right here. Is that one coming back? Dogs just take care of just soloing everything for me. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so there's nothing here, so we'll just go into the dungeon. Really bright door. Okay, so we got a checkpoint here. Where are we now? We are just still in Nerud. We are in the Eon Vault still. Uh, the dormant near Dewean facility. So... This is probably some lab of some sort. Uh, there's a way down here. Looks like it. Hopefully it's a secret. Yeah, it's some secret of some sort. So it looks like we'll be coming to this area a little bit later. So I don't know what the purpose of this room was. Or this vent. But glad I saw it. Just because there might be other vents like this in the future. Got to sprint around the corners. Uh, we got a big door right here. So it's like a uh, decompression chamber. Decompression chamber. Okay, so we can jump down too, but best not to jump and just walk so we can have kind of the empty space that we've cleared already behind us. Uh, we got another ring down here too. Ring of restocking. Let's go ahead and check out the uh, character. Ring of restocking reloads. Within 1.5 seconds of critical kill or weak spot kills are 20% faster. Okay. Doesn't seem that big of a deal. Nothing around here. So it looks like there's two routes we can take. Uh, let's go this route first. And then we'll come back and go the other route. Should be hitting enemies soon. Can't really tell. Dogs. Virulent life form still detected. Dogs doing kind of nothing. Oh, scared me. Coming from the ceiling too. That's the creepiest part is when they come from behind you. Tons of them. We'll go ahead and check out this room, too. Oh, we got a big one. Takes a lot of hits. Hopefully it doesn't shoot projectiles. Let's just go ahead and melee everything. Okay. 
Let's go ahead and use Doggo to heal us. And check what's in this room. Looks like this is just a room just that kind of passed by. A pass-through room, as you will. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and head up. Hopefully we don't get ambushed from behind again. Uh, we got something over here. Got another trait point. Coming in like hotcakes. So our expertise is full. Uh, we want to do spirit now. Mod generation. Mod power generation. So our mod power should be coming back faster and faster. So that'll be pretty good for bosses. Okay. So it looks like we're looping back around. Warning. Three minutes until quarantine protocol. Uh, I hope that's not an actual timer. Don't look behind me, just keep walking forward. Let's go ahead and dodge everything. No big baddies just yet. There it is. Let's go ahead and use our special. Get tons of damage to us. Okay, if we're here two minutes, then we know that we're being timed. Warning. Quarantine protocol will be initiated unless all virulent life forms are neutralized. Okay, so we're back here now. Let's go ahead and head up this time. I'm not sure where we are. But we've been here before, according to the map. There we go. Oh, there we just got some small monsters to take care of. Go ahead and just start mailing all these. Oh, melee is so powerful. So this is time. Uh, I'm not sure what we're supposed to do here. Let's go just pop this. Quest complete. Awesome. So we got Siphoner now. We'll check that out in a minute. So that wasn't too bad of a dungeon. So yeah, let's go ahead and check out what this trait does. So Siphoner. Virulent life forms no longer detected at this sector. Grant 0%. Quarantine protocol terminated. So we get lifesteal, which is awesome. We'll definitely have to uh, level that up once we get mod generation. I'm not too worried about life still right now. It's so like slight and insignificant. Uh, because if you get hit, you get hit for pretty hard anyway. So life still might just be like a crutch item if you're kind of like low enough health and out of potions. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and head out of here. Yeah, this is the way. Okay, so we can open this door now maybe. Uh, we got this right here. Poor violent key. Nope, doesn't work. Okay, so let's go ahead and just exit. We didn't find the key for this, so I don't think it really matters. If we don't get all the loot, we don't get all the loot. Although it would have been nice. Okay, so we're back outside now. So we're probably going to face a couple more enemies. Uh, let's just sprint past everything. Hopefully they don't chase me. Let's 
go ahead and take the elevator up. They hit kind of hard. Just gotta get regened up. And now we're back outside. So we'll go ahead and continue hugging the wall right. Pops some enemies from a distance. Take out the shielded drones. So luckily we only hit harder and harder. They can't stand up on their own feet. They're kind of like toddlers. Okay. Uh, I see something back there, so we'll go ahead and check this out. Yeah, I'm getting less and less scared of this game. It's starting to become less and less tense. So I'm able to start just sprinting past everything. Ooh, got nailed by that. Come on, come on. Let's go ahead and pop this enemy. And we'll go ahead and grab this ammo. And we got another dungeon sort of thing here. So we'll go ahead and go inside. Uh, this seems to be a door of some sort. Big pyramid or so. Uh, yeah, we'll pop up in the store. And just leads to another elevator. Okay, we'll go ahead and take this down. Doggo is just kind of sitting around. <laughs> Floating. Okay. Another decompression chamber. They took this really seriously. At least the aesthetics in this game are kind of consistent. The rules that the uh, new rules follow. Okay, so we gotta be cautious again. Where are we now? Is that gonna be a checkpoint? Spark cylinder. Let's go ahead and spark back. So it's a quest item. So it probably leads to another secret or so. Luckily the enemies just kind of trip over themselves. Okay, doesn't seem like there's anything else down here. So, quest item. We got something for later to use. Let's go ahead and exit. That's all those down here. A lot of waiting around just for a, uh, just a random obscure item. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this elevator straight up. Let's see where it takes us. Oh yeah, it takes us back to the entrance. <laughs> and no enemies around, so we'll go ahead and hover around and continue going left. No checkpoint either, so. I hear something. Maybe we'll run into it in a second. Nah, there's some enemies in the distance. The fog is pretty brutal. Uh, I definitely don't want to fall down there. Maybe I can go around. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, this is explorable. Although we're hitting the edge of the, the map here. Okay, so we have to go around. That is the edge of the map. Okay, walk up here and walk around this kind of building. This kind of bunker. Dog sensing something. I feel it. And this is a corner. So we're true there at the edge, the edge of something. Okay, now we can continue on back on the main path. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and hop down. And at least we know where the border is. Let's go ahead and just pop these enemies. Let's 
kind of low on ammo, so we gotta go ahead and grab that. Okay. Oh, uh, oh, wow. It's coming at us from a distance. Really hard to tell what's going on in this map. Because of fog. I see some scrap over there, too. So we'll go ahead and grab that scrap. We need every bit that we can grab. Now, I haven't really been using any items other than just the uh, our potions. So I don't know if it'd be beneficial to kind of equip some uh, healing items or something. Okay, so we got a few more enemies over here. And a big black pit. Need more ammo. So completely out of ammo now. Okay, we got some enemies from the, coming from the distance too. Oh, it's Ultra Guys. Hopefully someone drops some ammo soon. There we go. Only 14 bullets though. Maybe there's an item that increases ammo drop. Ooh, that nailed us. Go ahead and punch him to death. Take care of these shorter enemies. Luckily, we can reload while rolling, too. So, that's something that's really a nice quality of life thing that we have. Still more enemies. Yeah, they're relentless. Okay, so we seem to be coming to an edge of something here. Maybe something's down here in this canyon? No, that's a pit. So we'll walk, uh, go ahead, walk around this. Okay. Uh, what do we got here? Just some more enemies. Okay, so we're headed towards the big building that we saw towards the beginning of the game. Or the beginning of the map. We'll definitely want the ammo. Definitely doesn't do... This gun doesn't do much from a distance. Absolutely unloaded on my dog. Go ahead and sprint. Grab this ammo. Okay, we gotta get closer to these enemies. Okay, we we'll just lose our special. Get the infant ammo. These guys are kind of annoying. At least that's over. Okay, we can kind of ignore those enemies. I think. So was this the big building that we saw earlier? Can't really tell. Kind of lost. So this is going under reactor meltdown. There is a chest here, though. Cool. We got uh, melee critical chance. I hear some stomping too. So it's probably some hardcore machinery. And we got some drones. So we'll check that out building out in just a second. Once we check out what's in this building. Uh, tons of drones around. Uh, we'll go left. I don't think it really matters what direction we go. We're going for the ambush though. Okay, uh, let's check the left route this time. Uh, just some scrap or iron. If we jump down, how do we get back up? Well, only one way to find out. Just let's go up, yeah. 
So this is a new area, so we're gonna go ahead and check this out. Uh, how much of this area is new is the question. I don't see anything out here. Uh, this might just lead to a completely empty room. I'm gonna look around for a second and see if I find a chest or something. Because no way this area is just empty. Yeah, the area is just empty. So we'll go ahead and take the elevator up. I'll meet you at the beginning of this, uh, this uh, area. Oh, this goes up. Did not realize this. Uh, so we got a dungeon here too. So let's go ahead and pop this. And then we'll go inside the dungeon. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and go through this door and see what kind of lies in here. So a lot of this episode was kind of exploring. Uh, any checkpoints? Not entirely sure yet. Okay, there's a checkpoint down there, so we'll go ahead and launch onto this. Oop. I want that scrap iron, or that forged iron. So we'll go back up in a second. Okay, so I grabbed that forged iron. We're gonna go ahead and heal up and regain some more ammo. I think I'm gonna end the episode here because dungeons take a bit of time to do, and um, I think that's a pretty good pace for us. So if you liked this episode, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time. Thank you.